What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome to episode 6 of our City Skylines Let's Play. So this episode is going to be kind of crazy. Well, not really that crazy, but it's all about transportation. And specifically, we want to alleviate the uh, the problems that we're going to have with Bagel Boulevard over here. We named this last time Bagel Boulevard according to one of the suggestions in the comments. And uh, and now, now we want to kind of alleviate the, the traffic that it's going to get because currently it's the only way into our major city, even though we see that we have this highway on the side. We haven't yet created a connection into the city with that. But before we do that, I was notified in the comments of episode 5 that I did not actually rename the city. So I would like to do that. Uh, we were going to put it Andrewville 2.0 like we tried last time, but we, we screwed it up. So Andrewville with an E and then 2.0. Enter. Sweet. Okay, so now it's renamed. Uh, I, th I think it's kind of interesting to look at these statistics as well. I noticed this while editing last video. I mean, it shows our population, which we can clearly see right here as well. But it also shows some stuff such as how many adults we have, how many seniors, how many children, teens, and young adults. And I think that's actually kind of cool. It looks like our place is mostly adults, which makes sense because, I mean, adults are the biggest age range out there. Uh, and then there are few, fewer seniors, fewer childrens, and... Uh, and fewer teens and adults but yeah i think that's that that is kind of interesting i mean it shows that we definitely need to be focusing on schools quite a bit but we're not really going to focus on that this episode like i said it's all about transportation we want to alleviate this problem right here but before we do that we also have another problem to alleviate and let me scroll in a little bit actually i gotta turn the music down again because uh because i see i thought it was too low and now it's just ramping up so the other problem that we need to alleviate is that we got trucks that are going in and out over here and they're causing some traffic currently it doesn't look like there's that much traffic because we're not like at a rush hour i guess but i mean if you can see right here there's trucks like trucks cause problems and this whole area only has one way to get to the highway and that is this way so what i want to do is give them their own little highway right about here and and that it'll just connect to this highway just like this one does but they'll basically just be allowed to use that one to get to the highway a little bit faster than by going on the roundabout and whatnot. So what we're going to have to do first is we're going to have to... By the way, we're about to get to the next level. And we haven't even done anything special other than the, the big city. <laughs> so, I mean... Um, but yeah, let's go out here. And we're going to purchase this section right here. Purchase. And it doesn't tell you how many more sections you can purchase, I don't think. Which is kind of sad because I, I want to see how many I have left. I, I probably have two more that I can purchase for now. Or maybe I have one more and I'm about to get another one. I'm not sure. These two are full. That's a problem. And you are 97. Oh my god, we're having a garbage problem. Okay, well, let's cut everything for now. We're just going to fix this. Garbage, go right there. And you guys really need to start incinerating, like, big time. Uh, let's put some here. Is that a, what, is that a park or something? Oh, we don't have money. We're running out of money. That's a problem. Okay, let's speed up, because we, we do know that we're getting a lot of money per hour. So, and actually that's going down. But I think it'll be fine. Uh, so we just need to wait, and our money will increase. But while we're waiting for our money, we do want to put that highway right here. And it's just going to connect like a normal highway. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that no cars are allowed to be allowed to use this little highway that we're going to be having. So uh, we're going to want trucks to be able to get off here. So let's get a curved road, and I think what we're going to do is something like this. Or should we maybe make the highway first, the highway part? I don't know. I think it's just going to be something like... Here, where's our highways? Something like, here's our highway, this, we can't see. Okay, let's go and make it daytime only again, because, I don't know, nighttime's fun, but, jeez, it's hard to build during nighttime. Okay, so we're going to get a straight road, this is going to, oops, that's not what I did. we got our big city. There we go, we're going to get a straight road, and it's going to come about right here. Do we want to do that? No, we're just going to do a boulevard, how about that? A, a truck boulevard and that's going to be using this one right here so the truck boulevard is going to come out like this and then may maybe sorry uh, maybe eventually what we're going to do is we're going to bring it out here or we can just delete this stuff right here. yeah let's do that actually let's delete everything oh i like these silos that looks cool wow but we're going to delete them so what we're going to do is delete all this all these little roads here and then we're just going to have the boulevard that's going to go there. And it'll be a truck-only boulevard for use of only trucks. All right. So let's get our boulevard right here. And we're going to go straight with it. Maybe right there. Yeah, that's fine. 
and right there. And then maybe eventually there will be plans to have it come into the city using this road right here, which we might expand, uh, make the boulevard continue. And the reason it would do that is because these trucks produce materials, and then the trucks actually have to get to some of these uh, some of these buildings here. For instance, yeah, these ones right here are stores, and the stores actually require uh, shipping truck or shipping stuff. So the stuff has to ship. So maybe this will be our highway only road. And there's a way to do that, I saw. If we go in here to our highway view or our road view, which one is it? I don't know. Districts, leisure, traffic routes. And then we take this. Pretty sure we can select it so that only. Yes, here we go. So we can make it so no pedestrians, no cyclists, no private vehicles, no public transport, trucks, and city service vehicles is what we're going to allow for this road right here. And this is kind of new to City Skylines. It wasn't always like this. Like, it didn't always have this this ability to, to do this. And did that go all the way up the road as well? I think it probably did. Yes, it did. So this is currently only a truck road. Only trucks are allowed on this, which I think is a really cool feature. And then now what we just need to do is we need to get to our highways. And we need to allow trucks to exit the highway. Like this. Is that a straight one? That's a straight one. Okay. Let's do it like this. Like that. And then what that's going to do is that's going to go straight into... Let's curve it around. And it's, we're going to bring it right back around on it. Just like that. So cars go directly into that. And actually, I don't really like that. I don't really like how it's only the one lane there. So what we're going to do is we're going to... I want to have it only one lane for a minimal amount of time. Is that one or two lanes? Yeah, that's one lane. So I want to have that for a very minimal amount of time before it comes or for, before it becomes like a, a one-way standard road where two lanes of cars are allowed. So we'll do something like this. There we go. And then that will just go into that. So you just go into Do I need a straight road for that? Is it too short for a curvy one? Yeah, you go into that. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this as well and bring it into that as well. So it'll be like kind of a merge. So let's grab that and we'll do a curvy again. And in order for this to work, we're going to have to have it go over. So page up here is how we go over things. Bring it around. Bring it around. Can we go down yet? No, that's not going to work. And then we'll bring it down into that just like that. And so this is kind of a weird merge, but I think it'll be fine. I hope it'll be fine at least. <laughs> if it's not, we're going to have to do something with both of these going alongside each other or we're going into just a bigger road. But I think since it's one lane and another lane merging into a two lane, I think the throughput of that is going to be A-OK. -okay. Now what we need to do is we also need to make a way for these cars that are coming from on this side to get on the highway. And our the way we're going to do that is we're going to do the same thing with a two lane road. So we're going to have our, our standard two lane right here. And then what's going to happen is we're going to do... This is going to be like super janky intersection, by the way. But I think it'll look pretty cool. And we're going to go like that. So that's one way on. And then the other way is go up one. Uh, can I get this to somehow work? Wait, shoot. I messed that up. I messed that up. I completely messed that up. Uh, we need it to go this way, so... right here oh this is gonna look super weird but i th i think it'll look super cool if we can get it to somehow work like this because i want it to go in right here Zoop. but i don't know i don't know if that's gonna work okay here's what we're gonna do then new plan we're gonna bring this road this one way here out a little bit more And then it's going to curve around like so, or it's going to go up, right? Can I get a one way or a, a straight up? Oh, I can't get this to work. Once I do, it's going to look, it's going to look super weird and awesome at the same time. Okay. So the left side is going to curve. Nope. Not what I wanted. The left side is going to curve around onto the road. 
like this. It's going to curve back into it. And the right side is going to go up. And you know what? Maybe maybe I've been just having snapping on and let's just turn it off. And we're going to go up like so. Over this road here. Over this road here. Over this one here. And then, oops, I did not mean to do that one. Cancel that. And then, oops, no, I don't want to cancel that. And down. Oops, not up, down. Okay, it looks super janky, but what's going to happen is cars here are going to be get, able to get off the highway and go to our truck road. And cars here are going to be able to get onto the highway. And then if they want to go on this highway, they can get on this one. And they, if they want to get off this one, they can get off this one. And the reason I did it weird like this is because I wanted cars to get off before cars got on. Because otherwise we'd have, if we, if we got on before we got off, we'd have a lot of traffic in that little section before cars got off. So I want I want the highway to be alleviated of traffic and then added more traffic there. And I don't know. Yeah, I did it right this one as well. So that's going to look pretty good. That intersection does not look as good as this one does. But this one is what the game made. And this is what I made. I don't know. I don't mind it. I think it looks good. And so this is where trucks will go. So let's connect it to our roads here and see if it starts being awesome. So we'll just do a little... Um, a little connection like this with with a straight road probably I don't know and let's see if trucks start using it currently all these trucks already have their AI pathing done so we're gonna have to wait for some new trucks oh there's one uh, so yep some trucks are starting to use it and then what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to connect this as well right here that Sun glare is brutal this isn't all a one-way is it I don't think that's a one-way road no there's a solid white line here so it's not a one-way Jeez, that is a bright glare. Okay, are these cars? Yo, yo, you should not be using that. What is going on? Okay, let's go back to our road settings real quick then. Road settings. And we, we told the, we said that normal cars couldn't be allowed to use that. But maybe we have to set it on these ones. Or like right here. Do we have to set it? Yeah, it's already set there, so... Where are standard cars coming from? Maybe they're coming from this one right here. No, how are how are standard cars then getting through? Like this, okay, pause, pause, pause. You, how are you a standard car? Where's the home improvement center? Yeah, how are you getting off on that highway? I don't understand. I don't know exactly why the settings. If anyone in the comment wants to comments wants to tell me why this is not working like I want it to and why standard cars are able to use this road when they shouldn't please put that down in the comments and I'll greatly appreciate it jeez that glare is crazy I've said that like 10 times by now and then okay so that's fine now we need to actually help out this side a little bit and our money's actually going up which is really really great so we need to help out this side a little bit and I think the best way to probably do that is going to be to just add a highway connection so that's what we're gonna do and let's try and make it look really nice as well I think okay let's take this big boulevard here go straight a little bit and this is where we're gonna add our connection so we're gonna be able to we'll do the same thing with the one-way road this will be getting off that'll be getting on and we need to fix that before that goes out of power. Awesome. And so, let's get our highway connection. So getting off, we're gonna use this right here. There's one, and then getting off right here, we're just gonna go out a little bit and up over the road. Can we not do that? Slope too steep, what do you mean? What do you mean? The slope is too... Maybe the slope here is too steep. Let's break that. Okay, page up. Okay, that doesn't look half bad. Over. Over and down. Alright, sweet. And then over here we're going to do a similar thing. Highway connection 1. And then if you want to go this way, you can. You have to page up though.
I've done it again, didn't I? Okay, I think the traffic will be fine if we if we just add the thing right there. So we're, we're just going to go out like this. This one might end up looking wonkier than the first one. What does that look like? Does that look wonky? I think that actually looks very symmetrical. But once again, we might have a big traffic problem in between this right here. Because these cars are going to want to get in the first lane, and this these cars are going to want to get in the first lane to get out. So that might be a little bit of an issue, but, you know, uh, what can we do? Except for maybe, like... Did we really just go up to the next level without doing anything? Oh my god, this is crazy. We're just getting all the levels. Yeah, we'll page down over here and then just add right there. And I think that'll be perfectly fine. Uh, and this is probably why we're, we keep going up levels as well. We're running out of power, so we need to do something about that. But the reason we're probably going up levels is because we keep getting these huge buildings here that are just crazy. I mean, these people have, what, this is almost 30 people. That's 29 people. And these people right here have, uh, this is a job. Never mind. Oh my god. You have 40, that's 53 people. That's crazy. Jeez. That's why we keep going up levels, because we don't have to do anything to get to the next one. What do we get next time? Next time we get another slot and some ships. And then we start getting lots and lots of slots. Now, in the in the base game, by the way, you do not get a whole lot of slots of land. So, these are our slots. You don't get all of them. There's like, I think there's 24 in the map. Well, you don't get all of them with the base game, but there are mods that allow you to get all of them. I think this looks really cool looking from this tall point of view. That looks awesome. And if we turn around, can we see it from the other side as well? Oops. Yes, we can. I like it. And I think it'd, be, it'd look really cool if we take over this island as well. But that should, that should alleviate some problems. And of course, this isn't going to be used very much yet. Uh, but, but it will eventually. And we might have to tweak this a little bit later. So there's no light here, because that's going to cause a lot of people to be stuck. But uh, and, we, and we definitely want to tweak this a little bit. Cars are currently not using it, and you might ask why. Well, that's because most of the cars are coming in here, and they live here. And to get to work, they just have to cross this big bridge right here. It's not any faster to take the highway. But maybe when we start having stuff here, it will be a little bit faster. So that's maybe like a, a, little, a little plan for the future. So... What else can we do to try and get some cars to, to not use this? Because look at this. Oh my god. They're just... Oh my god. Actually, there was one thing I was thinking about that could make things a lot better. And that's tweaking this so that there's no light here. So that they can automatically get to where they want to go. And so let's, let's actually do that. Because, I mean, we don't have very many cars turning right. So this stoplight is really screwing us up. Most of the cars are coming over here and going this way. So we're going to take that out. But then we have to, and see, this this actually creates a, uh, a little bit of a faster turn here. It's not that much faster, because there are pedestrians that are crossing this. And I wish, by the way, in this game, that you could make a pedestrian highway. Like one of the, a pedestrian catwalk thing, but you can't. Uh, but yeah, we do have some problems with what we've just done. And that is that this is a one-way road intended to only go this way. And that means if cars get out of here, they're not coming back in. And the way we're going to fix that is by just converting it back to a two-lane road. And that should be fine. So let's take this right here, go to our little upgrade option. And we'll just upgrade this to a two-lane road. And then uh, we do have a problem here. Yeah, we'll upgrade this one as well. And this right here. So that if cars are over here and they want to get here, they can use this two-lane road and come over there. And then, yeah. Yeah, they can. It'll be fine. Now we're having problems where cars are backing up over here. Okay, I, there, there's there's definitely a clear need for some uh, for some public transportation, I think. And there's also a clear need that we need to add a, a bridge here. But let's not worry about that one just yet. I think public transportation is more pressing. That's a cool looking building. Alabrook Residence. So let's go to our public transportation. Um, we have subways right here. Uh, metros, but we're not going to add a metro yet. The reason being, this is a big city, but I don't know that it's metro big. If we take this side here, then it will be metro big. And if we continue on like that, 
then it would need a metro. But currently, I don't think it needs a metro. I think first we can just go with taxis. So I'll have a taxi depot, and the taxi depots... We'll have a taxi depot specifically right here. And I'm not sure what the best layout for a taxi depot is, but we'll have one... Because taxis can bring you anywhere, really. We'll definitely have one on this side here. So taxi depot there. Just because it's extremely difficult for people to actually get there. They have to go all the way around. So that's a good place for a taxi to hang out. We'll have a taxi depot up here. We'll have a taxi depot down here. Why do these people not like it? Do taxi depots attract unsavory characters? I don't know. Can we hover over it? Taxi depot... Oh, works as a garage and a repair shop for taxi cabs between work shifts. So they don't like taxi depots, but if we have taxi stands, they're probably going to love it. So I'll have a taxi stand right there. We'll have a taxi stand in here. We're going to have a taxi stand over here. We'll have a taxi stand definitely right here. That's, that's going to take over two buildings. Not really a fan of that, but it's okay. I'll we'll have a taxi stand right there. And is, is it actually a good idea to have a taxi stand right at the entrance of a major area i don't know we'll see okay let's have a taxi stand we're gonna want some in the middle of the city so taxi stand right there um that one should be fine here maybe we'll go every other block so we got block no tax stand taxi no taxi taxi no taxi good then we've got up here, we've got no taxi. That's fine, actually, because these ones all have them. Then we have taxi, no taxi, taxi. Can we fit it right here? Uh, we have to kill a building anyway. No taxi, taxi, no taxi, taxi. These are where houses live, people live. Uh, and then we'll have another one up here, one right over here, and one right over here for the future. Just planning for the future. We'll have stuff there eventually. And then we also want a couple of taxi stands over here. Because we're going to have some people who want to uh, get places. So I have a taxi stand right there. I don't know if we want to throw taxi stands in the neighborhoods. Because they aren't really... Um, these are more residential uh, suburbs. So I don't know that taxis would go great there. But we will throw some along the main road. Just in case people want to use them. And if you're working in the dirty sector, we'll have some taxi stands over here as well. Taxi stand right there, taxi stand right there, taxi stand right there, and we'll throw one over here as well. All right, and then along this road as well, because this is the, this is kind of our, uh, there's some big buildings here that we want to have taxi support. I have to kill a few buildings here, sadly. And maybe along this road as well. Taxi, taxi. Okay, I don't see any major gaps, except for maybe right here. That's a weird taxi stand, but I think that'll be fine. Right, that should be good. That should be fine for taxis. And now, of course, we probably want to even do buses. Because taxis are all fine and dandy, but they are expensive. Buses are a whole lot cheaper. So this looks like a uh, a bus... What's a bus station? Bus station's fine. A bus depot. What's the difference? Station is a lot more expensive, and it has probably a lot more buses, if I had to guess. We had power problems, didn't we? Oh my god, I wasn't even paying attention to that. Let's check our power. No, power's fine, so... Okay, I don't know what we were seeing with those power problems then. But let's just finish up this... This, uh, this bus is here as well. So we need... We can have these bus roads. This is a six-lane road with bus lanes. And this is a four-lane road with bus lanes. Can we have only bus roads, though? No, I don't think so. So bus stations... Okay, Bus Depot automatically sends out buses for your bus lines. Build bus lines with the bus stop tool. Okay. Bus Station is a hub for bus traffic and acts as a designated place where bus coach starts or ends its route. Okay, so we will have a bus station. And our bus station is going to be smack dab in the middle of the city. Uh, that's actually huge. We might not be able to fit it. Okay, we're going to go with the Bus Depot then. And the Bus Depot does not need to be... A, uh, the bus depot does not need to be near stuff. So we're going to throw out two bus depots here. And they're going to throw buses onto the line. And then we're going to have some bus depots on this side of, of the area. One right there. And we'll throw one 
uh, over here as well, I guess. If I can get you guys. Yeah, so we have a couple bus depots. Now we got to get some bus routes set up. So this is our bus depot. We'll have a route. Okay, that's one. And it'll go, it'll go along this, and then it'll turn. Actually, we'll just have it run down in a circle around this. This will be one of our one of our bus lines. Just like this, and then we'll stop right there. That is one line, just like that. And then we're going to have another one that starts here. It'll stop there. saying create new line create new line okay that's that's the first one and it's going to go there and this one's just going to go around this one i think we're going to have overlapping ones like that kind of overlapping lines and the reason for that is because uh, if we want to if we, if you if you want to hop on a bus that goes this way it'll be great that like you go on this bus and then you can hop on the next bus and then you can hop on the next bus and you'll be fine right there Right there. And we'll complete that line. Sweet. Now let's create a new line right here. Add a stop right there. And we're going we're gonna to go around like this. Bus lines. Always fun. And we'll be completing our stop right about over here. Yeah, we'll add one right there as well. Complete the line. Okay. And let's add one right here. Create new line. You're going to go up. Add stop right there. And you're going to come right back down. And around back to our original. Where's the original area? Right here. Complete line. Sweet. Okay. Almost done. We're going to create a new line right here. Go down and around. Adding one at each block, and then uh, we can come back down, back to our start, which is over there. Complete the line. Okay. Now we want to go up the road here. At stop. At stop. This is fun, isn't it? Just adding bus lines. Complete the line. Create a new line right here, and this one is going to. Oh, I don't know. I think what we're going to do then, wait, if you're here and you want to, oh my god, if you're here and you want to get there, you have to go all the way over. That's far. Wow. Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a bus line that starts here. Oh, that's a one way. Oh, no. Okay. So how about... Okay, I think I screwed up on this one, but whatever. We'll have a bus line that goes here. Wait, this. Create a new line. There. And we're going to turn onto this road. We're going to go down this one. It's going to be like a slalom. A sal How do you say that word? A ski slalom thing. And then this one's going to come back up. We'll add a stop here. Yeah, this is going to come back up to the uh, complete line area. Sweet. And then finally what we're going to do is we're going to have lines on this road here. What? Wait, hang on. What did I do there? Okay. Lines on this road. And these ones are going to basically go to this area of town. And stop here. And they'll just go along Bagel Street, I think. And then it'll go back. Uh, yeah, you can just stop a couple more times and then you'll be fine to go all the way back over here to our original one. All right. Oh my God. Is that really your best way of coming around? That's horrible. So that means the bus right here has to go all the way. Okay. That needs to be changed. I think we need to add a small roundabout here just to fix that. And we haven't set up buses over here yet. Which we might eventually do. We have a lot of death signs. Oh my god. 
Oh, no. That's a problem. Okay, let's fix that first. Pause the game. And we need to fix this. Everyone has dead people waiting for transport, and that is not great. Are you full or something? You're not full. There's just not enough people to take care. Yeah, we have a, a big problem. Okay, so let's add a couple more crematoriums, or of these things, whatever they're called. We have the money? Yeah, we have the money. We just need to find a place to add them. There's one right there. We'll throw another one over here. Uh, maybe one right here somewhere. Yeah, one right there. We'll have one over here. One inside here. One over on this side of town. And then we'll add a couple of crematoriums as well in case you want to be cremated. One right there. One right there. One near here. They'll just be near each other. I think that'll be best. Crematorium. Crematorium. And we are out of money now because that was all very, very expensive. But it should be good because now our people can finally get dead people out of their house. That must suck. Could you imagine waiting for like a month to get someone who died out of your house? Jeez. Right, so hopefully that starts being, uh, that starts fixing things. It might take a while. You see all the hearses? These are all little hearses coming around and uh, getting the people. Wow, that was that was bad. That was really, really bad. <laughs> okay, now let's fix this problem right here, and I think that's going to be the end of the episode. So let's probably... Remember, this is a one-way. No, this is... Yeah, this is a one-way, and this is not a one-way. So delete that one, delete that one, delete this one right here. And then what's going to happen is we're going to... We have snapping turned off, which is good. We're going to have a double way. Uh, okay, this right here. Yeah, that's what we want. And let's delete that one as well, actually. Just to give us some space. Delete the uh, buildings as well. So that's what we want. We're going to have our curved. And I screwed that up, so let's delete this part right here. Okay, that's a weird looking thing, but I think that'll be perfectly fine. And that is going to be able to help our buses so they don't have to go all the way around here to turn around. Can we connect you? Okay, maybe if I get the... That looks weird, but it'll work. It will be perfectly fine. And... Straight road, maybe. Too slow? Too steep? What are you talking about? Okay, maybe if I... Oh, this is going to look weird, but I think it'll be fine. Can we do something like this? Oh my god. <laughs> it works, okay? It works. Please tell me you're not too steep. You're good. Oh my god! That is a death trap. That is literally a death trap. Look at that bus! Oh my god! <laughs> I love it. I love it. And you know what? Ender suggested last time that we put a uh, that put a, a one of those big trees in the roundabout. That one right there. So I think we're going to do that for this as well. Um, are we running out of power? Why are you guys out of power? What is going on? I guess we are out of power, but like the grids aren't See, I don't know exactly why, like, because it says we're good on power, right? But these guys are clearly not good on power. Oh, that's because we're in green, because these are producing stuff, but they're not actually connected to the grid. So let's connect them to the grid. Boom. That'll be fine. It was tricking us the whole time. Oh, yeah, we're going to add something in the middle, and that's probably going to end the episode. So let's grab our thing right here, and let's see if we can get a big one. Put some down for comparison. That's a big one. Put it right there. And then can we get some smaller trees? I'm going to run these in a circle. Oh my god. That is definitely a death trap. Guys, if you're, if you're ever driving and you see something like this, go the long way. Go the long way around. That was cool. It's like a breast cancer awareness 
polka dot. Yeah, don't ever do something like this. I mean, if at least something like this, though, this is su such a beautiful drive that it might be worth it. But this right here, oh my god. And if you're in a bus that decides that it wants to drive down this, that you're asking for your brakes to fail. That is crazy. But I love it. It's awesome. All right, if you guys like this video, hit that like button. Put your comments and suggestions down below, and I'll see you guys in episode 7. Peace.